Hi, uh, I'm Anusia Shinsami Churan, and I'm based at the University of Cape Town in the Biological Sciences Department. And today it's a real pleasure for me to introduce Maria Eugenia Pereira, who's a postdoc in my lab. And we are here today to tell you about some really cool work that we've just had published. Maria. Um, so we study um, Cayman Latirostris. Uh, we study specimens that came from different localities uh, of Argentina, and also the specimens were different, uh, eight different sizes, um, and also some of them we knew the age of these specimens. So by studying the numerous uh, postcranial bones of these individuals, we were uh, able to have really nice results. Yeah, it's really fascinating because one of the things that we found is that amongst the very young individuals, we still had traces of the embryonic bone. And the embryonic bone itself was really very, very interesting. And Maria, please, will you explain more about the embryonic bone? Uh, yeah, so how you can see in the picture, um, we found different kinds of organization of this embryonic bone. Um, so in some cases, this bone has vascularization, and in other cases, they were avascular. And the interesting thing is that these two different kinds of embryonic bone we found in the same uh, type of bone, and also in the different individuals. Hmm. So that's really interesting. So in the past, we used to think about embryonic bone, and we just think of it as one type of bone. But in fact, it really can be quite variable. The other aspect of the work that we did was to look at different bones in the skeleton of individuals. And year two, we had very interesting results. Yes, yeah, so because we study um, different bones of the same individual, or also different individuals, um, we found that uh, each bone has a different um, gr uh, rate of deposition. So some bones grow uh, really slowly and other bones gro grow uh, really fast. We could uh, um, see that uh, from the bone histology, the organization of the bone histology. So this different kind of bone tissue we found sometimes in the same individual and sometimes in the different individuals of the same on ontogenetic stage. So th this is really very interesting because this tells us now that different parts of the skeleton can grow at different rates. So depending on which bone you choose to look at, you can have different rates of growth. Yes. And one of the other interesting things that we found is that because we had a range of different size juveniles, so even though they were juveniles, they were still different ages, and we got interesting results there too. Yes, yeah, so we are lucky that we have many juveniles that were from six months to one year old. And all these animals, although they didn't have a big differences in their, in their sizes, we found uh, really big differences in the bone tissue that they have in the different bones. Mm, that's really fascinating. And of course, in terms of variation, we also found that we had different kinds of variation in terms of the growth marks that were present in the bones. So th this is between the adults and the juveniles. Yes, yeah, so in the adults, we found uh, growth marks. Sometimes they have more than 10 growth marks. Um, normally, we use this growth mark to estimate the age of the animals. But uh, the interesting thing that we found is that from this specimen that were less than one year old, we also find growth mark in these animals. So this is uh, really important because uh, these growth marks normally are used to estimate the minimal age in modern animals, but also in fossils, and also uh, to, to make a growth curve, to build growth curves. Uh, so in the fact that we found growth mark in this animal that is less than one year old, uh, we had to be careful in the future when we um, use these growth marks to estimate the age or to build these growth curves. Absolutely. I think this really calls for caution in terms of how we make our interpretations, particularly for extinct animals. So thank you very much, Mariu. And for those of you that are interested to know more, please, will you look up our paper? It's published in the Journal of Morphology, and it's um, Mariu uh, as the first author. So it's uh, Maria Eugenia Pereira, and it's in conjunction with um, our co-authors, who are Paula ba uh, Bona and uh, Pablo Siroski. 
Thank you very much. Thank you.